Jive Hive Jeff from Two Hacks Garage. Well, as you can see, the carburetors are on this tunnel ram, and we're making a whole lot of progress. We got the linkage in, as you saw, got the serpentine kit installed, along with the fuel pump. Kind of the next steps are, well, you kind of have to get fuel to the carburetors from the fuel pump. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually install a pair of these. Um, I went online, I purchased these. These are an actual fuel line kit that is designed for this type of setup. It's designed for a toner ram with the sideways mounted hollies. And basically you just find what orientation you want with it um, and you go from there. It's not rocket science. I know there's a lot of linkage in the way, so hopefully we can uh, avoid having to modify a lot of stuff. But you know what guys, with that, we're gonna go ahead and start getting stuff plumbed up so we can get fuel from the fuel pump to the carburetors. As you can see there, what I ended up doing was, is I put these fuel lines on here. Um, I did kind of want these fuel lines here to go the other way, but you know, just because of all the linkage, that wasn't gonna work right. So really the only modification that I'm gonna need to do instead of having my fuel plate over here, cause my fuel pump is straight down there, is I'm gonna have to route it over here. I'm making a list of some fittings and some A and lines and everything. Not going to be a whole lot of work to do. I'll get that ordered through JEGS today and have all that plumbed up. So that's just to kind of show you how you add the dual quad, double pumper, pre-made fuel lines on one of these applications. Um, as you can see here, everything does clear. No obstructions with that. So yeah, we're good with those fuel lines. So yeah, next step is, is just get all from the fuel pump back to over here where I'll end up having a fuel log. And yeah, guys, that's about it. So we will see you soon.